What's up, man? It's your boy TGK here on TGK TV. And here we go. Kellen Moore, John Kidna. You got to be kidding me. So news broke that apparently Kellen Moore is going to be our new offensive coordinator and John Kidna is going to be coming to the Cowboys as the quarterback coach. I don't I actually don't mind that John Kidna becoming a quarterback coach for Dak Prescott because John Kidna did pretty well in what season was it? Uh, don't quote me. What season was it when Tony Romo got hurt and John Kidna filled in? He did pretty. He did pretty good. So let me show up this damn TV. So John Kidna, quarterback coach. Kellen Moore, offensive coordinator. How do y'all feel about that, man? Like, here's my perspective. I know I, I said there was no chance in hell Kellen Moore is going to be the offensive coordinator, but it is looking like that's a, a possibility, man. And I'm not too thrilled with it, but um, it just, it's just like, I don't get it. I don't get how, how the Cowboys think. And I know there's probably people out there thinking, no, Kellen Moore is the perfect, uh, you know, person to be an offensive quarterback. And John Kenneth is a perfect quarterback to develop Dak. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like, they don't have the track record for me to feel confident in in their abilities, you know. So, to me, it just sounds like a lot of, a lot of just a Garrett guys being pushed up into their positions. And we just kick Linehan out just to infuse more Garrett guys. So, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it one bit. But... Stephen Jones it seems like he's the one that just really getting the, this this stuff together and putting pressure on uh, Jason Garrett. Apparently, Jason Garrett is not going to be the play caller, which it excites me because if it excites me because we really need to put all the pressure on on Jason Garrett. Enough with this pandering crap with this clap clap clap. We need to see some damn results. And if your playbook doesn't Manufacture results like touchdowns, like actual wins in the playoffs. Because all we do is get to the divisional round and we lose. And then when we get to the divisional round, we don't know how to even play. Like we, our defense in, in this game against the Rams just really let us down. And then Dak started out good, ended off good. And then that middle, that middle part really did us in um, for Dak Prescott. But it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not, I'm not thrilled with it at all. I, I just feel like it's more protection for Jason Garrett. And we're going to make someone else the scapegoat and just to continuously keep Garrett. I really want Garrett gone. Just change this all up. Stop wasting another season. We know where this is going. We know where it's going to end. Don't you know? You know where it's going to end. We're going to have Jason Garrett vanilla as hell. We're going to get vanilla results. And we're going to be mad again in this offseason. Do y'all want that? I don't want that. I've heard different perspectives. I heard different takes. I just, me personally, in my soul, I cannot buy this Kellen Moore, John Kidman, and Jason Garrett running the offense. I can't. I cannot. I really can't. And I don't know who anybody out there, I'm pretty sure some of the people, oh, well, he was with this coaching staff. And Kellen Moore, you, you need to believe in him. I don't mind it if we're, like, rebuilding and we're trying something completely new. But we're not rebuilding. We have the team. If we do the offseason the right way, we can get other pieces to come in here, and we're Super Bowl ready. But we're going to give the reins to these, you know, unexperienced, you know, coaches necessarily. And then we're going to give Jason Garrett the, the the play calling role in a vanilla-ass offense in a not an intuitive, modern, you know, stylistic type of play. Like, I don't know, man. I'm just It just makes me feel less confident in this team and this organization's approach. They constantly just let us down with, with these decisions that just make absolutely no sense. And again, probably someone out there make, that can make sense of it. I just can't. And so, for me as a fan, here we go. Another season where I got to buy into to stuff that I'm just un, unpleased with. Like, really, when Linehan left, it should have been Kellen Moore that left. It should have been Jason Garrett that left. Start this whole thing, this whole coaching staff over and, and bring in a modern coaching staff with some experience. And, and let's get it going. But then again, people will say, well, Sean McVay is, is, is a great coach. Well, now that's looking really good, honestly. I, I can't lie. The, the Sean McVay uh, call is looking good, but he had experience in, he had experience in, in Washington out there. So it's just, 
you know, you kind of had a feel for him. So here we are. It's looking like it's really going to be Kellen Moore and John Kidna. And it's just more of the same to me. It's more of the same. I I don't know. And then, and then you might ask me, well, then who do, who do you want to replace, you know, Scott Linehan? And honestly, I've been doing too much. I can't even look into that. But I know there's, there's better candidates out there. I think there's a guy from Miami. I'm pretty sure he has a, a better um, track record because Kellen Moore doesn't have a track record. John Kenna really doesn't have a track record. I'm not I'm not into players that don't I mean or coaches that don't have a track record. And Gary's track record is just mediocre. It's a bunch of all right. We have eight and eights. We we're above 500. We get to the playoffs, but we don't make any noise. We haven't made any noise. I would have loved to have been in this NFC Championship game. And I would have loved to have the potential to win because they they helped LA Rams win that game. You don't you don't think the Cowboys would have got a little bit of help against the Saints? You don't think the NFL wants to see the Cowboys in the Super Bowl? I don't know. But then you look at it from a different perspective. We did get kind of robbed with that one sack. Not like it would have made a difference, but I think we did get robbed with that one sack. But probably is Jerry Jones' plan to get the Rams in the Super Bowl because it does benefit Jerry Jones because he has his organization uh, with their new stadium. And, and so Jerry Jones is going to get a lot of revenue from just from the fans in their stadium all by itself. So maybe Jerry Jones has a completely different agenda with getting the Rams to the Super Bowl, but he won't get the Cowboys to the Super Bowl. When is Jerry Jones going to have that tenacity to want to win? Like, we've been waiting for it. It seems like everybody's just complacent and happy and being what they are, and it's, like, resulting in Kellen Moore and John Kenton. Like, I am fed up with it. I don't know how y'all feel about this. I hope y'all agree with me, but I, I'm not I'm not, I'm not. not happy with it. I don't, I don't like the hires or the potential hires or the potential uh, that you, you're going to bring with these um, two new coaches and, and remaining with Jason Garrett. I'm just not excited. And uh, it's just like, throw the whole season away. Like my boy Dave says, just throw the whole season away. Here we are again. Back to square one. No no legitimate changes. And it's just, we got one problem out with Scott Linehan. And it's like, we just inserted the same problem and we're repeating the same over, the same issues over again. And... We're literally the definition of insanity. It's been my take, man. I got more videos coming. I know I, I took a day off, but now I'm back in pocket. I'm going to come back. I'm going to have a lot more stuff for y'all. It's been your boy, TGK. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I'm out.